many years on an album called uh, Songs for Drum and Voice, <laughs> which aren't featured in this book, I'm happy to say. But, uh, just one, one thing that was said there, uh, the previous speaker was saying, you didn't know Tony. <clears throat> well, I'd say like most people in this room, I know Tony a very, very, very long time. I'll take back a few of those varies, actually. I know him a very long time. And uh, all during that time, I've always found the thing about him, which is really um, so great, is uh, he's very um, well, forgiving, I think would be the words you use when, if you're releasing a new album and he's listening to it for the first time, but encouraging as well. And uh, that encouragement is something which is worth so much to people. And so there, there are so many bands in this book well, I know it feel the same debt to him. They probably sat down with him in parks. I remember sitting with him in, in Herbert Park. That's not the way it seems. But, uh, we, sure? Yes. <laughs> We'd released the album after the album that's in this book. That wasn't a happy time for us, Henry, was it? Well, your song. Yes. <laughs> I remember a drum solo, and it wasn't that easy to step away from that like <laughs> Your fingerprints are on it, too. Yeah, well, I've ruined you too. We, we, uh, that, that one had a um, chicken on the cover, if you remember. We used to say, outside it's a chicken, inside it's a turkey. But, uh, luckily he went for a dip, but I remember sitting in, in the park with him for a bit of an hour. And never at any stage did he use the word shite album. <laughs> so I would remain grateful to you, Tony, for the rest of my life. So, um, the previous album, the really good one, <laughs> is in this, um, and I, when you got in touch, I was delighted to be in, involved, as are most people. When I came in tonight, um, I overheard two people talking, and they said, uh, I only know three of the albums. <laughs> There's only two in it that I don't know. And I'd say that probably a lot of you are in a very similar situation. What I think is really valuable about this is that some of these albums would slip off the radar if it weren't for books like this. And it's only when you sit down and you read about them and you, you read about the people involved, to realise how brilliant some of these albums are and how bloody tragic it would be if they disappeared off the radar. Albums by Micro Disney, kind of later one from the Forbes as well, which I think is actually one of their best album. An album after album from other bands that are just the, the stars of heaven, the sensational albums. So a, a book like this, which is really beautiful, takes the time to shine a light on those albums and maybe get a few people to have listen to them again. It's worth its weight in gold. So after all that, I mean, said he's, he's one of the most uh, forgiving men you could meet. I think we should probably get a few words from Tony. I know he was signing autographs. Tony, are you with us?